previously on Getting Dicey. As you wake up, you realize you're, you're stronger and a little more experienced than you were the day before. That also brings us to the start of Act 2. Ooh. Okay, so you're all, you're all level 2. Da, 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 da. The track that you've been following sort of emerges from the wooded hillside, and you can catch your first glimpse of the, the township of Phandalin. <laughs> if you want to help me find Ian, uh, I mean... I'm uh, quite happy for you to, like, tag along if you're lonely, I guess, but, uh... I'd like to meet Ian. Oh, he's a Ian. Oh, he's a good man, that one. Loris is just going to shove Sylvia forward to get him moving because he just talks too much. How about we meet back at uh, the tavern tonight and I'll introduce you to Ian and we'll have a great time. How does that sound? As, mm. as you guys are talking, there's a small child that kind of notices you guys and comes running up to you guys. Adventurers! Adventurers! Oh, adventurers! You guys are amazing! Oh, you're a bard! Oh! There's an adventure! Oh. I've got a secret! And he, with that, he kind Morris of... is just going to pick him up. Like, literally pick him up with a scruff of his neck yeah. and face him away and bump him out of the way. Just gently. He doesn't want to hurt him. He just wants to tap the little child on his way. <laughs> Welcome to my provision store in Bathin. How may I serve you? I've got this book. It's a story about... I haven't read it. It says on the front, the halfling and the orc. I don't know. It's probably a story about the halfling and an orc. As Sig walks out, he'll take the book. Thief! Thief! And with that, he'll throw it in the back of his head. Keep it then. <laughs> 